Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering the aesthetic Chrome extensions. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, of course, there are plenty of ways to have an aesthetic um, feel to your Chrome browser, as well as having some aesthetic extensions. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a few. Now, here we are on the Chrome Web Store. So if, as you can see, you've got some extensions listed out. And there are different extensions available. Um, but if we do search up a couple of different ones, uh, say we have like a clock. So let me see. This is a pretty much a tab clock that you can use. And this is pretty much how it looks uh, when you're using the browser. Now, of course, um, We'll go ahead and add this to our Chrome extension. And we'll go ahead and take a look. So it's actually now listed up within our area here. So what we'll do is we'll pin that. And we'll get a, we'll take a look at the overview on it. So that's pretty much how it would look. We'll go ahead and preview it. So I uh, finally got it up there. So when I opened a new tab, this is how the clock looks. And as you can see, I can uh, set it so it has the 12 or 24 hour clock. And there's a couple of different options there like T, Light, Galaxy, we've got Neo, Boss, Pop. There's a couple of different cool ones there. And I would consider actually keeping this uh, uh, sure, there there is a way, of course, to tell your time. You've got it on the bottom right or anywhere along your screen. But it's just a cool aesthetic thing to have. It doesn't cause any issues. And you can have it as 24 hours. And it pretty much just moves. So it's pretty much um, inspired. I think they said that it has been inspired uh, by galaxies and orbits. So that's a really cool thing about using the... Uh, clocks or clock uh, extension but yeah that's one to consider so we'll go ahead and move on to our next extension so our next one is called the cute cursors now of course if you want to spice up your pointer a little bit and you decide let's go for something a little bit more creative there's ones available here so this one's our featured one which is cutecursors.com uh, for chrome and a couple of different ones there as well. So if we go ahead and click on this, you get a overview of how it looks. Um, there's a couple of different cursors that you can use. And of course you can pretty much just drag and add it to your collection. Now it doesn't seem to, it seems to have a good review uh, with a 4.6 out of five rating. We'll, we'll go ahead and add this extension into our Chrome browser. So as you can see, there's a CRX file there. So it'll probably redirect us as you can see. So currently, if you guys can see that, we've got a watermelon slice for our cursor. Now we can go ahead and change this if we wanted to as well. So we can change the cursor size. There's a couple of different options there. You can get more cursors if you wanted to as well. So we'll check out the new ones. Uh, we can preview that as you can see. So if we wanted to add that, we can add that in. And that pretty much just adds that cursor onto our uh, area here. And I can even change this to an old one. So that's how the cursor looks, as you can see. Nice classic retro look. Uh, let's see, maybe we can change it to another one. So here's a pointer there. There's the Mario one. So there's just a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. And loads to choose, as you can see. You've got even got wallpapers as well for backgrounds if you wanted to. Digimon, Cutest Dogs, Dragon Ball, Pokemon as well. Some of their top cursors, which is the Among Us characters. They've got Super Mario ones as well. So just a whole lot of different ones that you could use. So that is one of our next aesthetic Chrome extensions. We'll go ahead and take a look at our next one. Now, our next one is called Taskade. Now, if you're looking to 
make your notes or your video chat or anything pretty much a lot nicer looking then Taskaid would be the one to use. So we've got a quick overview on how it looks there. Uh, this is pretty much where you can customize your workflow, your meetings, agendas, weekly tasks. Uh, it just pretty much just gives a overview on what you would need to do. So if we go ahead and add this up to our Chrome uh, extension, just take a quick look at it. Okay. So you can uh, open a default tab. Of course, we would have to sign up to use it. So this is pretty much the welcome um, or welcome page to the task aid. Of course, you have team notes there. You can invite people as well. You've got your calendar, which you can keep uh, a hold of everything. Uh, anything that you've starred, some of the tasks that you may need to accomplish. There's a lot of things that you can add through here. And of course, this is our workspace and we've got a roadmap as well, some templates, uh, as you can see, weekly planner, our bullet journal, uh, content strategy, mind maps as well, if you need them, and then things that you can mark off as complete. So this is very handy to have. So I would recommend to have Taskade, especially if you just want to be organized. Um, this would be the Chrome extension to use. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at our next extension. Okay, so this one is Thyself. Um, so basically, uh, this just monitors basically your mental health um, or you can master your mental health. So we'll just add that to the Chrome extension. So that's just a quick overview on how it looks as well. If we have a look at it there. There's an overview. So it just pretty much just uh, a way for you, especially if you're working, you know, uh, a way for you to track your mood to, as I say, support your mental health, just to keep you clear as well. Um, so how you can choose here how you want to achieve thyself. So you could just say, um, support my mental health and you can of course you would need to activate permissions as well so we'll just allow permissions and then this is where you would go ahead and uh, sign up as well if you need to so we'll skip it for now so it's telling us here as you can see what do you feel right now in this moment uh, so of course you can feel rage happy joy Goofy. There's a couple of different ones basically just to help you with your mental health. So we'll just say hobby. So we'll just drag that mood in there. And then of course we can leave a note for your feelings. So there's other ways of course uh, to just track your mental health or just keep you um, all good. Uh, just to basically keep you uh, going as well. So these are one of the extensions to use if you want that sort of aesthetic or just a way to track your mental health as well. Okay, so our next one here is called Tabby Cut. Now, if you are feeling to just add something for fun, then this is Tabby Cut. Now, of course, uh, he would be pretty much in every tab. So if we'll go ahead and add them in. So here we are. I've actually just opened up a new tab here. So we've got uh, Angelic Casper. Now we can go and check out our different pets as well. There's Tabby Cat. Let's see. So uh, I think there's a little bit of a glitch. I think they're all in white for some reason. Let's see if we open up a new one. Okay, so there's different colored ones as you can see. So they'll be pretty much in every different uh, browser that you use. So yeah, that pretty much is Tabby Cat. Of course, then you can search up for whatever you're look, looking for. So if you go to Google, then that disappears. And then if you open up a new tab, then it comes in. So that's pretty much what that Chrome extension is. Uh, nothing much else to it. Uh, but yes, that's pretty much it for the video. Of course, uh, I can't keep going on and showing you the other extensions out there, but be pretty much just go into the Chrome web uh, store check out the different uh, 
web extensions that they have. Have fun with it. If you, as you can see, you, there's a couple of games that you can play as well. Uh, Chrome Piano, Fidget Spinner, just if you get bored as well. There's a couple of cool things that you can have. And yeah, just pretty much, just, uh, there's one there for Flappy Bird Offline as well. So a couple of cool ones. If you guys just pretty much just search up for the ones for fun, then you'll pretty much have all the top picks for the Chrome extensions. Now on top of that as well, if you are looking for some themes, you can go ahead and choose some of what they have. So as you can see, they've got the Black Artist Collection advertised on for at the moment. They've got Native American Artist Collection as well. Uh, some parts just to support uh, different artwork. Now we've also got the McLaren F1 and Chrome uh, for the extension as well. Latino Art Artist Collections as well. Uh, just a couple of really cool different browsers uh, to use and just to customize your experience. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions at all and if I've missed something as well, please do let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you very much.